Hey everyone, welcome to your third JavaScript basics tutorial in which we're going to take a look at how to set up our environment so that we can properly start working with JavaScript code. So what I want you to do is basically download VS Code as I said in the last video and once you have done that you would be presented to the screen like this. Now go ahead and whatever you're using Windows, Mac or Linux, go ahead and create a folder um, named anything you like and uh, just click on this link open folder you should be able to see a page like this when you launch vs code for the first time if you don't then if you don't see this link then go to file open and then open that particular folder right once you have done that you should be able to see the name of that particular folder here for example i have opened javascript basics so it shows me javascript basics feel free to pause this video at times so that you don't get lost Right, once that's done, I want you to quickly go to this tab here, click on, click on this and search for something called as live server. Just go ahead and search that. Once you do that, you should see this entry by Ritwik Day. You should be able to see an install button here. I don't see it because I already have installed that. Just go ahead and install it. Once you do that, you should be able to verify that if you have installed by, um, you would see these two particular buttons here. Other than that, you should see install here. Just go ahead and install it. Now what this does basically in layman's terms is allow you to run your own local development server, right? So you see these sites like Google, Facebook hosted everywhere, right? So these are, these websites, these companies have, have some servers online which they expose. However, if you want to just test out things, you can make your own computer a server. So you don't have to pay for hosting a server, right? So this is essentially what this live server plugin would do. Once you have done that, you would see no change whatsoever in your text editor, but uh, just go ahead and create an index.html file. And inside here, just write a basic document, HTML document, right? And I expect a little, little bit from you guys that you know HTML a little bit, right? I'm not gonna expect a lot, but uh, still, a little HTML doesn't hurt. Right, so this is a very basic syntax. We can just write a title here, hello world, stuff like that, and you're good to go. Right, so at that point, at this point, we are basically ready for deployment. And what you can do is basically right click on this index.html file and click on this open with live server and click on this. Once you do that, you should see that your URL, which is opened, is 127.0.0.1 colon 5500 and index.html which is which which says you hello world in the title so essentially this is the exact same file which is served at this weird url if you have never seen this before don't worry about that we'll come to that later on right so that's all for the setup environment development environment setup and if you uh, have any doubts leave a comment so i'll see you then in the next video